Make your own headlines. Hey, this is Dow Welsh inviting you to enjoy some random news and make the grace of God your biggest headline of the day. Today's podcast is sponsored by the Ruther Gobham Factory and the letter K. So what's the strangest thing you've ever seen in the middle of the street? How about a 10-foot tall orange and white chimney? If you've ever toured the streets of New York City, you may have seen one of those chimneys. They're steam stacks connected to the steam system. A recent article points out that New York steam system is celebrating its 139th birthday. It's the largest steam system in the world with 105 miles of pipes. And those pipes reach about 1,800 buildings with heat and hot water. And what about those orange and white steam stacks? What do those chimneys do? Well, they safely divert vapor conditions away from people on the street. So I guess you could say they help the system blow off steam. King Solomon was giving his kids some advice, and he said this, An offended person is harder to be won over than a strong city. Well, that sounds like you could more easily beat the entire city of New York in arm wrestling before you could win someone over that you've offended. I guess that's why it's been said that being offended is a powerful drug. Powerful in that it has a way of controlling you. So how can we keep from being controlled like that? How can we keep from being so easily offended? Well, part of what it means to be a Christian is that we trust God. We trust Him to fully and finally and ultimately deal with every offensive thing that has or will ever happen. And what should that trust in God do for us right now? Someone put it this way. We can have the good sense to be slow to anger. We can become gloriously unoffendable. So maybe grab an ice cream cone and blow off some steam and then trust God. Why? so that you can enjoy the freedom of being gloriously unoffendable. Make that one of your headlines today. Make Your Own Headlines is a little smidge of encouragement from Holland Avenue Baptist Church. For more ways to listen to this podcast, for weekly sermons, and for more positive resources, check out hollandavenue.com.